It's peach season, no question about it. Huh? Mm -hmm. And if you've ever wanted to pick your own or simply know when they're ripe exactly, so, Yeah, Shane is there uh, having fun. Yes, I am. Good morning, guys. So we're all about pitch, peach picking. I guess the, the you gotta pitch the white right one, right? So it's like pitch, peach. Gotta pitch the perfect peach. Here is Norm here with Lynn Villa Orchards. Thank you so much for joining us. Thanks, Shane. Great to have you guys here. Likewise, likewise. So talk to me because oh my gosh, we have these kind of peaches. There's multiple peaches to pick from, but like, what's the hallmark of picking a good peach? Uh, the secret is to understand that each variety have like a three week window and that they get 25% bigger right before you pick them. So you want to look for a colorful peach, and the less green, the better it's going to ta taste. If it gives a little like this does here. So a little, a little soft on yep, the end. Okay. Then you know it's, it's ready to eat. Gotcha. So you want to pick some like this. You want to pick some that are greener so that you can eat them over a longer period of time. Okay, so and what are these called? Because these are called donut peaches. These are donut peaches. They were developed probably, time goes by quickly, maybe 25 years ago. Okay. All of a sudden, one day they saw them as they were breeding peaches and said, wow, this one's even sweeter. And the following is really taken off. We have yellow ones and white ones now, and we're going to start picking these on Thursday. Oh, fun. So the key, of course, is the color and the softness of it to eat it right away. And if you want it, want it to last longer, pick it a little harder, like you get at the grocery store. Just like the store. And peaches, they have a habit. If one goes bad, they all go bad. So okay. if you do pick firm ones and you're not going to put them in the fridge, spread them out. Oh, okay. And then as you see them get a little soft, get them in the fridge. Smart. Okay. And then these are the ones right here, the white. These are called the white ones, right? These are the yellow peaches. Oh, like the yellow and th peaches. And this is what you see most commonly in the supermarket. Mm -hmm. um, but ours, you'll see, are bigger than you'll see in the store because they get 20% bigger after they get, uh, as they ripen. And they can't afford to wait that long for the ones that you have in the supermarket. Mm -hmm. So those are firmer and they won't be as juicy and flavorful. And we also have white peaches here, a white flesh peach. Nice. And those are less acid more sugary tasting okay cool so how much does it cost for someone to come out and pick their own peaches yeah anything pick your own is nine dollars a person to get a ticket online ten dollars if you walk up to the stand and uh, you get a hayride to the field and you'll get a two-quart bag for peaches or depending on what we're picking a pint of raspberries or a pint of strawberries or a pint of blackberries Different crops come in different size containers. Very cool. And you guys are having a harvest festival first weekend in August, which, which is where you can get some of these sunflowers that you're looking at here. You'll have, what is it, 10,000 or more, more than 10,000? Yeah, we planted 50,000 sunflowers this year, knowing that the peach crop is light, so that on the day of our, generally the first Saturday in August is our peach festival. We're calling it the harvest festival. We'll have over 10,000 sunflowers to choose from. And we have 50,000 in the ground. You can cut sunflowers any day, today till November. Very cool. All right, so which is the one I could try? This is this. This, this is what you want. The ones that are a little soft like this. And when you, we always say, you know, it's a Lynn Villa peach when you have to eat it in the bathtub. Uh-oh. <laughs> okay. Mm-hmm. Because when they're juicy like that, you won't get that in the supermarket. No, not at all. Mm. That'll do it. Oh, I'm sending it back to you guys in the studio. Mm. Here that it sounds oh, juicy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. oh, it's great. You gotta eat it bending over. Now, Shana, usually he's kind to us and sends us all kinds of Limbilla goodies. So sweet. Yeah. Yes. Norm is the best. So please tell him we appreciate it. Yeah. <laughs>